God. Hi, friends. Welcome to Enlightened World Network. Dr. Ruth Anderson here with a meditation a day. Today, our guest meditator is Sue Boone. We're so pleased to have her on with us. We're going to go for a minute while she shares out with her group. Sue Broom um, channels the angels, works very closely with them. She's masterful for one-on-one -on -one sessions, so please check her out at suebroom.com. She's also a creator. She creates um, what I call wisdom wear or spirit wear, great <laughs> spiritual messages, and she puts them on shirts and mugs and bags. Oh, she's wearing one right now. She's <laughs> Very talented. And actually, if you had a special saying or um, message that you wanted to see on a shirt or a mug, get in touch with Sue Broom. She can help you do just that. So did we get you shared out, Sue? We did. We did. Yeah. This is sort of showing off my chest. It's like, oh yeah, this is one of them. <laughs> Any excuse. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> All right. I will get out of the way and let Sue Broom lead us on our meditation. Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you, Miss Ruth, for doing this every single day, meditation a day. So for everyone joining us now or listening on your phone, just get yourself into a very comfortable position. And whether you're sitting down or lying down, whatever is most comfortable for you, And take a couple of deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And again, in and out. And as your body is starting to relax, if you haven't already and you'd like to, you can close your eyes. And just notice with each exhale that your body is releasing more and more stress. Maybe you had some tense muscles and they're just feeling limp. Maybe you had some tension around your forehead. It's feeling loose. Your hands are relaxing. Your arms, so relaxed. And if there's any tensions or worries that you're hanging on to, give them to the angels for now. And if you'd like to pick them back up afterwards, you're more than welcome. But allow the angels to hold these worries, these fears, these stresses. Allow them to hold all of that for you. So you can take some time for yourself. And as you are taking more breaths, you can feel yourself getting even more comfortable. Now imagine that you are in the most comfortable position you've ever been in. Whether it's sitting, lying down, floating, maybe you're on a 
bed of feathers. Maybe you're on a cloud. Maybe you're floating in the middle of the ocean. Just moving ever so slightly with the waves. Whatever is the most comfortable for you. And as you're in this so comfortable position, it's almost as if your body is speaking to you. Your mind is speaking to you. Your spirit, your soul is speaking to you. And saying, this is the perfect time. Now is the perfect time. To refresh. To refresh your mind. With thoughts of beauty with thoughts of love, with thoughts of creativity. And just those few things, you might notice a flood of thoughts just flowing through your mind. And just allow them to flow through your mind. Words of compassion. Words that bring you peace. Just allow these to float float through your mind you can swirl around and maybe they're not too far away so if you want to come back to these later to write them down they'll be near You're still hearing the words refresh, rejuvenate, replenish. Some of the words that you were hearing, they refresh your mind and they also maybe replenish in your soul. Maybe there's words of wisdom from lifetimes ago that speak to your soul, that you can almost feel the vibration of the words. You don't even have to hear them. You don't have to see them. It's as if they feed your soul just by being there. You might notice some other things that feel as if they are just feeding your soul, strengthening your connection to the divine, to your angel connections. Maybe there's colors that you're noticing that you can't even say what color they, it, that it is, but it feels as if it gets absorbed into your soul.
as if you can feel the vibration of the color feeding your soul, working its way, even through your physical body. Maybe there's waves of different colors. Maybe it's only one color. Just allow yourself to feel this. On some level, it's as if your soul is doing its own sigh of relief. And for some of you, you might be saying, thinking to yourself, I don't feel anything. That's okay. Be open. Be open to receiving. You might even want to say, I'm open to receiving. My soul is open to receiving. My soul is being replenished. You might have some images of flowers, of nature, of artwork, or you might have images of kindness, compassion. a love from a mother to a child. Your soul might feel the love that God has for you, that the angels have for you, that your ancestors have for you. Your soul feels as if it is overflowing with love, and refreshing, refreshing feelings that just wash right through your physical body as well. As you're feeling this, as you're open to receiving, as your soul is open to being replenished, just feel for a minute, just feel what is it that you're noticing? Is it a color? Is it a light? Is it a sound? Is it a vibration of some kind? Is it a scent? Or is it the touch? What is it for you? Just take a moment. You may have some flashes 
of past memories in this lifetime. You may have had some flashes and you're unsure of where they came from. Maybe there was a sensation running through your body. Maybe there was waves running over your body, just like waves of the ocean. Maybe there was sensations from different colors. Maybe you noticed the room get brighter. Maybe your body feels lighter. Now pick one, one thing that you just saw, whether it was a color or a light or nature, whatever it was for you. Notice what you feel in your physical body. Notice if the cells of your body light up, feel energized, feel better somehow. Just notice. And now notice all around you the love and support that you have. The love and support of your angels. The love and support of the trees. of the sunshine. The love and support of all of your ancestors, whether you knew them or not, makes no never mind. You're a part of them and they're a part of you. Just notice all of this love feeding and energizing your physical body, your mind, your emotional body, your spirit, your soul. It all feels so rejuvenated, so refreshed, so much more invigorated. So much more energy filling your cells, filling your mind, feeding your soul. Just breathe all of this in as we slowly start making our way back. Just take it all in. Slowly start coming back into your body and maybe noticing your surroundings a little bit. It 
Take a couple of deep breaths. Coming back into this reality, into this 3D world we are living in. Bringing back memories of where you just were. And the rejuvenation feeling is now within you. Slowly come back into your body, into your physical body, starting to move around a little bit. Moving your hands and your feet and maybe your head from side to side, maybe stretching a bit, coming all the way back in. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you, Sue. That was so relaxing. I personally was on a floaty on the water at the ocean. Um, <laughs> but going through your words, refresh, rejuvenate, replenish, receive. And then another one that I heard was release. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I was, I, I don't know exactly where I was, but I was, I don't think I was on a floaty. I don't think I was like in a chair. I was just like out there. It's like, oh, but the thing that it always and maybe surprises me isn't quite the right word, but we have so much support. No matter what we're doing, you know, whether we're, we're just chilling, you know, we still have the love and support of our angels, of our loved ones, of the, the past generations that we don't know. Just because we don't know them doesn't mean that they don't love us. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. And and I was reminded too why we do these meditations every day. And every day is different. There is not one meditation that's been repeated, and we're in our fourth year of doing this on a daily basis. It's to just help folks go inside themselves, calm down, close out the rest of the world, mm -hmm. and refresh and replenish and rejuvenate. It's all those things that you were guiding us into. So we can come out with a renewed perspective mm -hmm. and a renewed awareness and um, expansiveness. Mm -hmm that we can see things from a different perspective and, and it all boils down to love. Yeah. It really does. Everything just boils right down to love. So thank you so much for this today. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It, I, I get the benefits of, <laughs> of being here too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for, for doing this, Ruth. I mean, you have impacted so many people just by being here and doing this. Thank you, Sue. Thank you. Sue, if somebody wants a private session with you, what could they expect? You know, every session is different, but the the it's it's all about you, whoever you are. It's not about me. I I just help help hold space so you can either awaken things within you or see some things from a different path or come back to your center 
So every every session is different, but every session is about the person. Yep. And so Sue, do they go to subroom.com to line that up? Subroom.com, and that's where you can get get um, sign up for a session, or you can get links to the Etsy store, to the journals, to the cards, to to the blog that's out there. All of it. Subroom.com. Excellent. Thank you, Sue. And friends here at Enlightened World Network, thank you for joining us, whether it's live or after the fact. So much to each and every one of you. Take good care. God bless. We'll see you.